Hi friends, uh, today we'll be uh, talking about the functioning of a AC mechanical uh, type uh, fuel pump. Um, this type of pumps were employed in early automobiles while the carburetors were been employed. But right now they are getting obsolete but it is good to know the technology that was used. Okay, let's discuss about it. I have made a drawing of it and the internal components of it are here. So let's identify the components. Um, we have the rock ram and um, this is a spring over here. There is a pull rod. This is a pull rod which is connected towards the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm through uh, this particular spring. This is the chamber which the fuel is sucked in and been delivered through here. This is the inlet and this is the outlet towards the carburetor and this is a strainer. So uh, the drive uh, for this mechanical pump, yeah, of course, it is coming from the engine itself. So engine is giving the drive for this uh, mechanical uh, pump. So engine camshaft is providing the drive through an eccentric cam. So the engine camshaft is connected towards the eccentric cam. So as it rotates, the drive uh, raises the rock ram. So as the rock ram moves, what happens is that the rock ram uh, moves, it pushes a or uh, pulls this diaphragm so when this diaphragm moves down what happens a vacuum is created uh, in this chamber this chamber a vacuum is created which results in the inlet valve to open and the fuel is sucked inside towards this chamber through this uh, strainer and as uh, the next rotation what happens that the rock ram is again activated and the diaphragm moves up as the diaphragm moves up uh, what happens the inlet valve closes and the outlet valve opens so this oil which is sucked inside the chamber is delivered towards uh, the carburetor uh, through the outlet. Uh, so that's how uh, simply this AC mechanical uh, pump uh, function. And there are some other interesting facts. This diaphragm, you know, this diaphragm um, is made of high-grade cotton, which is impregnated with uh, synthetic rubber, and the valve is made of backlit. Uh, this is uh, because it is it will make it very lighter and the uh, inertia stress uh, will be minimum uh, when it is made of backlight so that's uh, why it's done like that and there is another issue that uh, when the carburetor is full of fuel uh, still if uh, the engine is running uh, the eccentric camera will be operating and uh, the diaphragm will move its result in sucking oil and again delivering so if the carburetor is uh, full of fuel the pressure will develop inside the mechanical pump resulting in the failure of the mechanical pump so to avoid that the flexible connection of a rock ram and the push rod, uh, pull rod has been employed to avoid uh, such a uh, functioning or such a uh, problem to occur while the engine is running when the carburetor is uh, full. So I hope uh, you understand the functioning or uh, how a mechanical uh, fuel pump has been working in the early days when a carburetor was also employed. Uh, thank you.